We'll do some side bending next. So here's some choices for leg position. We can keep them as they are. You could take them much wider apart if you want to. So this works standing up as well, but of course, without the chair there, it's somewhat harder, but you're gonna give it a go if you're feeling strong. You can always straighten your legs from time to time to make that feel a little bit easier. On the floor, sit on your bottom with your legs wide. A uh, quick demonstration of what I mean by that. <laughs> this one, and you can do the same actions uh, sitting on the floor. So with one hand on the floor, lean to the side. I'll show you on the chair. Okay, so on the chair or standing, one hand on the thigh rather than on the floor, because the floor is a long way down. And just start reaching up with the opposite arm. Try and keep both of your sit bones or feet, or both, balanced. So don't lean over to the side and lose that nice, solid, equal support in the middle of the body. And lean. Okay, now you can change sides however frequently you want to. So it might be that you just breathe out and lean over. And breathe in and come back to straight. And then breathe out and lean over and breathe in back to straight. Or maybe you want to stay in the stretch for a bit longer. You just want to hold there for a moment, breathing smoothly and really enjoying the way that the breath enhances your stretch. These can be so nice for reducing tightness in your back muscles and your abdominal muscles. So many of them come towards each other in the side body here. And find the nicest spot for your head so that your neck feels like it's not making too much effort. Some people prefer to look up for that. Some prefer to look down. But there's the in-betweeny bit that's fine as well. And it's really in taking your time to really enjoy those side opening stretches. If the arm up thing is not really that pleasant for you, try with your hands behind your ears or at the back of your head and just gently tip one elbow down and one elbow up. Or maybe, and you might need to come a little bit further forward on your chair to give yourself space for this, maybe just reach towards the floor. The, the, the top arm can just come up onto your hip, onto the, onto the side of the waist, I mean, and then repeat on the other side. So it's always fine to adapt things to suit your body, your comfort. Uh, but everyone, remember to stay as balanced as you can manage in each side of the body, in the bits that are touching the floor. Feet, bottom, backs of the legs for those that are sat right down on the ground. And here after you've done a few side stretches, and do feel free to do a few more if you want to, but it's always nice to come into a balanced, um, in the middle pose, either just sat upright or perhaps fold it into a forward bend. Those of you on the floor, you can do that with your legs together or wide. If you're standing, there's no need to have straight legs for your forward bends. You can bend your knees as much as you want to. It can be somewhat nicer to have your knees bent for those hamstrings. I'll just show you the sit sitting one sideways on as well. And anytime you're hanging out in these forward bends, breathe into your back. So. The lungs extend right into the back of the ribcage and sometimes we forget about that. So use this pose to, to draw your attention into that part of your body and breathe deeply into it. 